What a powerful episode. You know that's going to have ramifications, man. You don't kill the Stockton president. Now Marcus Alvarez is going to be pissed. Oh, my goodness gracious. It was amazing because Coco and Hope, man, that's going to be the turning point that turns that relationship around because near-death experiences in that episode, I will tell you, was straight up rocking. Whether it be the Oakland president turn, turning with Stockton, of course. You know, Sons of Anarchy are coming. They're coming. We know they're coming. You can feel the presence. You can feel it. You're getting too close to the Redwood Originals, and you know. Uh, like, okay. That was beautiful, okay? Adelita killing the right-hand man, amazing. Michael, as is, is Bishop, is really the boss, and he ain't taking no shit. What a fight scene there. That was amazing between Stockton, Oakland, and, and the Mayans. And now you got this internal war that you never seen before. So Hope and Coco, awesome. I love Frank. I love I love Hank. I love the I love JD as Ezekiel. I love Vincent as as uh, as Gilly. The whole cast and the whole crew tonight. Man, Creeper. Man, poor Creeper. You know, you want Joseph, man. You don't want Creeper ending up getting shipped in Stockton jail. <laughs> So that was kind of that was a, a standout moment in in Creeper's character, honestly, because he stood up for the club and he stood up for his brothers and he took the hit. And then next thing you know, the cop we all know that owes the Mayans from last season. We all know who he is because remember they saved his life. He was the dirty cop that they spared. They knew they could count on him, and he was still there in Oakland. And bam, owed him a favor. Next thing you know. Another one of the Redwood original Sons of Anarchy members of cast is gone. Now it's Oscar. And they're killing them off left and right. This ain't good for Chibs and the rest of the Redwood originals. But what about what an episode all around. Amazing. Beautiful.